right, just an update. I got the uh, angles welded here. This one there in the center of the picture, and then this opposite one here. So uh, they've been rotated around. One thing I should have done in hindsight was uh, measure these long beams. Um, I had measured all the other ones and assumed that uh, that they were correct, but this one is three eighths inch longer than uh, than this one here, which is exactly 12 inches, or sorry, 12 feet. So 12 feet. 12 feet and 3 eighths inch. So I uh, got all the bottoms uh, connect, connected together, uh, pretty much leveled out. Um, it's off by a little bit here and there. Um, but I'm going to tack it up, and then once I tack it up, I can try to do diagonals. I'm going to hook it on the very end of that, try to hook it on there, and then measure to the diagonal over here, and then the same over here to that far diagonal corner and then I'm going to hook it on here. I'm going to tack it up first because I need I need these vices uh, clamps on here to um, uh, get the butt joint just right. So because there's a little bit of a little bit of uh, unevenness here. Uh, something I've learned is that while you can take these um, longer pieces and if you make them more this way, they will kind of, um, you know, be more stable, like if you were going to leave it that way. Um, for actually setting up, it's better to have it right at the corner uh, so that this beam or whatever is in here is right underneath the opposite side of this and the opposite side of this. So this one's not quite following it. Um, but this is okay because this one's already welded. But uh, on the areas that you want to weld, it seems like it's better to have whatever support piece you have underneath both. And that's going to help with the alignment with uh, um, on, the, on this groove right here. So uh, rather than straddle it out here, put it right at the corner and then have it under there. Um, very similar to this one. To prop up with some uh, diamond plate scrap I had and then another really small shim and then over here again with uh, that uh, that plate there I don't know if it's a quarter inch or a little bit thicker uh, to get these ends smooth across here so you got eight inches here uh, Eight inches here. On this one, it's a eight and three eighths from from here to the end, and then this one is eight inches exactly. So this one's a little bit longer. Um, I'll mark it as such, and then uh, maybe uh, mark it and grind it down, or maybe just leave it. Um, I'd like to have an even reference on all corners, so I don't have to remember which one is out of spec. But uh, at least it's 12 plus and not uh, less than 12 because that would be hard to, you know, it'd be a pain to try and make that back up. Uh, so that's it. I'm going to tack it up uh, down there first and then um, check for square again, uh, make any level leveling adjustments on this side and uh, tack it up here. And then I can take these, uh, this set of clamps off here and then uh, that clamp down there, um, and then do the me diagonal measurements. And then the next thing I'll probably do is the, um, uh, you know, if it's a parallelogram and, and not a uh, and not right angles everywhere, then I will take like a ratchet, uh, ratcheting uh, strap, I think. Try to hook it on the end somehow with uh, some kind of coupler. Uh, over here as well with a hook, try to just hook it on that end and then ratchet whatever long uh, hypotenuse is there, uh, ratchet it together and, and try to squeeze it out until it's until the measurement matches. So, yep, that's the plan. And then uh, once that's square, then I will uh, 
kind of weld these back uh, stronger so that it's more than attack. And, uh, and then I can move on to uh, um, tacking up the insides as well. Because I don't want to have to do the, uh, the overall squaring once I have extra I beam or H beams inside here. It's just going to be too much to try and, to try and pivot. Um, and plus my measurements are going to be based off of uh, kind of the assumed squareness of, of um, you know, the parallel uh, beams here. So that's the plan.